Hello, my name is Tamir Barak, OptiShop Product Line Manager for CI Systems. We're now going to explain the basics of MTF and how we do MTF. First of all, we're going to explain to you what is MTF. An MTF stands for Modulation Transfer Function. The Modulation Transfer Function is a scientific means of evaluating the fundamental spatial resolution performance of an imaging system. It is used to evaluate the ability of the system to transfer contrast from the specimen, the UUT, which is, as we said before, maybe a lens, a lens assembly, or a camera, to the intermediate image plane. The image produced by the unit under test is collected by either the scanning slit or the video imager. It is then analyzed and an LSF is produced from the image collected. A Fourier transformation is then applied to the LSF vector. The transformation produces the MTF results at discrete frequencies from which we build the MTF graph. As we mentioned earlier, the system is capable of performing on and off axis measurement. The next slide illustrates the on and off axis measurement capabilities and how we perform off axis measurements. At the beginning of the test, the rotating stage is positioned on axis with the collimator. The scanner will move in discrete steps along the scan range, either X or Y, to acquire the LSF. We then rotate the main rotation stage in order to scan for the image in the lens field while correcting the scanner position to meet the shifted image. In the next slide, we see the collimator on the right hand side. We see the unit under test in the middle and the scanning detector on the left side of the screen. The image is collected by the lens under test and an image is created on the UUT focal plane. The scanner is positioned on the focal plane and is used to collect the energy of the projected slit. The scan produces the LSF, a line sprint function, which represents the image. From the LSF graph, we derive the MTF, which represents the system performance at various frequencies up to its cutoff frequency. We're using the system main rotation stage in order to measure the system effective focal length, short for EFL. The OptiShop measures the lens focal length while relying on its accurate encoders. The system scans the image on axis and finds the image peak. We then rotate the stage at small angle, represented by theta, and search for the shifted image peak again. We divide the total image shift, delta x, by the tangents of an angle and calculate the EFL. While the MTF is used to evaluate the system performance, the LSF produced by the system is used to evaluate this and identify the different optical aberrations which exist in the system. The next slides will demonstrate how to identify these optical aberrations. Distortion is measured by calculating the relation between the expected image position at off-axis measurement and the actual image position found during the scan. This is done using the automated scanners and the rotated stage. On the bottom of the screen, we see an LSF graph of a perfect system. While an MTF is used as a measure of evaluating the lens performance, the LSF produced by the system is used to analyze the reason for the MTF decrease due to aberrations. A spherical aberration can be identified when an LSF graph widens in compared with the LSF of a perfect system. A coma is identified by an asymmetrical widening of the graph towards one of the scanning directions. This phenomena usually rotates with the lens. To summarize, the OptiShop system is a various modular system used for carrying out various tests. We have demonstrated in this presentation how some of the tests are being carried out and how to analyze the different data coming out of the system.